Hi folks, Matthew here with Disaster Area Designs. Doing a quick video today to show you how to reset your DMC micro or other disaster area MIDI controller. Sometimes the configuration information becomes corrupted or you change a setting that results in all of your modes being disabled and the unit may boot and scroll and then stop on the letter P and refuse to continue. If that's the case, then you should perform a factory reset. So the easiest way to perform a factory reset on a DMC micro and QConnect is with what we call the emergency reset. So to use the emergency reset, power off and then power back on again. Wait for the display to start scrolling and then hold both of the foot switches down like this. You'll see the display flash reset and then it'll start a countdown. What it's doing now is it's walking through the presets and resetting each one to the factory defaults. When the countdown finishes, you can power cycle the unit and everything should be back to normal. If you have a different kind of disaster area MIDI controller, say a DMC 3XL, Gen 3, or a DPC 5, something like that, there is another way to access the uh, factory reset. So in order to do that, you should power on and then enter setup. On the DMC Micro, you do this by waiting and then holding the left button. On most of the other devices, there's a menu or a save button that you hold. It's the same way that you get into setup for everything. Once you're in setup, tap left until you see the word reset, R-S-E-T. When you see reset, hold the menu entry button. On the DMC Micro, it's the left button. On most other devices, it's the save or mode button. And then you may see the word back. You may see a line with an arrow. You may just see a blank screen depending on your firmware version. Regardless of what you see here, don't panic. It's normal. Tap the left button slowly, once, one at a time, until you see the word all. When you see the word all, hold down the menu entry button. On the DMC Micro, it's the left button. On the other controllers, it's the center button, the mode button, the save button. It's the button that you normally use to get into and out of menus. Whatever that is, hold it down. You'll see reset again and you'll see the familiar countdown timer. When the countdown timer is finished, power cycle your MIDI controller and the unit should be set to the factory default state and ready for programming. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching.